Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a very special long-term project that we're about to start. So this was actually a dollhouse that one of my children had when she was young. It's got some rough spots, <laughs> but it has a lot of potential too. So I'm going to restore this dollhouse and I'm going to make, I'm going to bring it back to life, right? It has a lot of potential and needs a lot of love. But we're going to start with the roof. So you haven't seen the worst part yet. Look at that y'all. Oh my gosh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much of this I can salvage and put it back up on the roof. Uh, I've got some good wood glue to make that happen. So uh, we're going to start with a good cleaning first. So that's, uh, that's where I'm going to begin. I'm going to get some Q-tips. We're going to just go to town and uh, clean our little steps, just clean everything. Um, we're going to remove what we need to so that we can put new wood on. Um, we're going to start with cleaning though. So I'm in the grandkids room because <laughs> this project will have to sit here for a hot minute, <laughs> right? Um, but hopefully I can fix this up and uh, make it look make it look nice again all right let me go get my cleaning supplies and then uh, we'll just get to it all right i got my tools and i'm just going to start by cleaning everything and then i'll go in detail clean and then i think i want to just see what uh, needs to be removed like so, uh, if i can get these off in one piece that would be good because then I can use them for a template. brought my hammer in here. Alright, so let's see, can we get this one off?
go get my hammer. I'll be right back. Thick paint before <laughs> we got it to come off. Alright, let's do that over here. Get a frame. And now, get this bottom piece off. This frame. There we go. How about that? There's the other long window. All right, we have two circles and they're ornery. All right, let's see what we can do. I just have to get underneath that and then let that help me. Maybe.
sandpaper. But just so happens, just the other day, I got a new sanding block, y'all. Yeah, I'm that person. I get all excited when I get a new sanding block. <laughs> and I don't, it doesn't matter the, the maker. It matters who's on sale. So I have these. These things will only last a little while and then they fall apart and then you can't use them on your hand sander. Can't use them on your, you know, you can't use them anymore. So I put them in this bucket and then I just use them and use them and use them until the grit's gone. And then I have a box. Here's one. I probably won't open that one because this is pretty new. But for this project, I probably will take one of these to begin with. I guess it's already roughed up, right? So it won't matter if the gnarly gets it. Because it's already there. I will do the kills before I do the shingles. That way, hopefully, I don't mess up the shingles too terribly. If right in here, I'll have to lift these up. We have some that have damage right there. I've already been thinking about that, but let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up.
right, we are going to let it dry completely. And then I think we'll put us a, a coat of kills on there. And then we'll start, we'll assess about these shingles. All right, let's let it dry. All right, our house is all dry. And so now I want to, I was gonna originally put kills on everything inside, but when I opened up the kills can, it wasn't any good. So, got a storm raging outside, so I'm gonna use what I got. So I'm gonna start by opening this up. And what I did is I went through and I looked for uh, anything that said flat or eggshell in all my paint samples that I have. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Let's see if we have anything that we can use. It's just part of it, y'all. All right, so we have all of this. don't really care what the color is as long as it's flat and it's light so I'm gonna put that there for the moment all right so we have this let's go ahead and use the same brush we gunked up it's gonna be pink it's a dollhouse it's okay <laughs> Just a little bit.
do I want it to be that color? Because yeah, I can't match that, and I've got some spots that are real faded. So what would it look like? some touch-ups. I'm going to get some fresh light on it. I might even take it over to my art studio. Um, I have a little bit more light than what's in here. So we painted the outside. I should have showed you the inside first. It was dry. So we did the outside in this Pale, pale pink, low odor, flat paint by Bear. That's one good thing about getting samples when they're like oops paint. So I paid 50 cent for this. Well worth it. There is our inside. How about that? We even painted underneath, which was a nice, a nice touch because that had not ever been painted before. So I'm glad we got that done. I'm going to add some um, reinforcements to this board right here. And that will help strengthen that up just a little bit. My husband thinks to put little corner things in here. We'll go just glue them in. We'll probably end up painting all of this like a, a gray color. Right, like like what a basement would be, but you can kind of see in the windows right there. How fun! All right. Oh, I see another spot I missed. No, I need to open this up and get a new brush.
and uh, I'll let you learn right along with me as we're doing it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like it, share it with your friends. All right, <laughs> until next time, I gotta go get cleaned up, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> until next time, happy crafting.